Hey guys, this is Winton Yates, uh, reporter for Channel 4, uh, but currently uh, a scientist. I am a non-scientist that's going to show you how to do scientific stuff. Uh, so what we're talking about today, my story that's coming up later on today at 6 on our newscast is about some kids across the country who are making slime. I remember doing this as a kid. Uh, it wasn't dangerous. We had fun. It was not really messy, but we felt like we were making a mess. Uh, it was slime, it was sticky, it was great. We all watched Nickelodeon and it was all about slime. But now there is, there are some videos going around on uh, YouTube and other social media sites showing kids how to make slime, but it includes some chemicals uh, such as borax that are actually giving kids third degree burns on their hands. And I went to talk to an official today who uh, explained that borax is actually uh, the ingredient used in pesticides or pest control to kill roaches. It was also at one point, the uh, it was the first laundry detergent used. So very dangerous stuff, don't use it. If your kid wants to make slime and you see that they're using uh, a recipe that calls for any type of acid or chemical or borax, stop. Don't let them do it. They can end up with some serious burns. Tonight at six, I'll show you some pictures of a girl up in Boston who had some very bad burn skin peeling off that type of thing and that third degree burn can actually turn into fourth degree burn which then you have to get skin grafts at that point but today we're going to show you a safe kid friendly way to do this and this actually comes directly from Elmer's Elmer's glue the company uh, because as this has become uh, a big fad across the country they've actually seen spikes in their Elmer's glue uh, and of course, when they found out that kids were getting burned, they put out a recipe that is kid-friendly uh, and safe. So we got a hold of that, uh, actually went to Office Max, who have a dedicated display setup where you can go in, they have all the ingredients you need. It's a one-stop shop, everything but one, the food coloring, but I will explain that to you. So all you need, if you wanna do this with your kids at home, the ingredients are very simple. Elmo's glue, very simple. You can get this at any uh, art supply store, Office Max, Office Depot, Walmart. Elmer's glue. You need contact solution. Uh, so if you wear contacts, you probably already have this in the house and you don't need that much. Uh, baking soda, which you probably already have in your refrigerator at home. And then food coloring. And that's it. That's all the ingredients that you need to make this happen. It's safe. Nothing here is going to hurt your children. Uh, the expert that I talked to today said if you have to reach under your sink, under the counter to get something, probably not a good idea to put it in. So we're going to show you how to do this. Uh, and I ran a test run before we did this, and it went well. So if we, uh, we crash and burn doing this, remember, I look like a scientist, but I'm not. So here we go. So the first step is you're going to need your Elmer's glue. The recipe calls for four fluid ounces. These bottles are seven ounce bottles. Uh, I don't have, I have a measuring cup, but it doesn't, it just measures and goes. So we're, we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna guesstimate. All right, let's see. Let's use the rest of this bottle. So we're just gonna dump that in there. Put that in the bottle. I'm gonna add to that because I don't think that's gonna be enough. So we wanna make this, we wanna make this good. So we're gonna add a little more. Add a little more glue to that. Alright, I think that's enough. That's good. Alright. So we got our glue. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add our baking soda. And this calls for a tablespoon of baking soda. This is not a tablespoon, I know. Uh, but we're on the cooking set, but they put all the cooking stuff away. So uh, I'm just gonna use what I can find. So we're gonna guesstimate, it's a lot. It's probably more than what I need, but you know. So we put 
put that in there. And then we're gonna add food coloring. So this is where the borax comes in and the dangerous one. The borax is actually what gives the mixture its green color to look like slime. But we're not gonna use borax. We are going to use just green food coloring. Uh, and this is actually more fun to me because you can pick any color you want, red, blue, green, yellow, or you could mix them, which uh, one of our web team members had a specific request for lime green, and she diligently mixed us up some colors so that we could get lime green. So that's what this is. We're gonna add our food coloring to the mixture. All right. Now that that's in, we're gonna mix it up. And as we mix it, you will start to feel it get thicker. Ooh, Mandy, this is a really good color. This is a really nice color. It's going to start getting thick as we move this around. Get that color in there. At first, it's going to look like tie-dye. But the more you mix and the more you move it around, the more consistent the color is going to get, the smoother it's gonna get, the thicker it's gonna get. Also, as you're doing this, if you want the slime to be less sticky, you just add more contact solution, which I'm now realizing we did not put it. <laughs> this is why I say I'm a non-scientist showing you how to do scientific stuff. So we're gonna add, we're actually supposed to add a uh, one tablespoon of contact solution. So, again, I know this is not a tablespoon, but it's close enough. We're gonna add some more because we want it to be uh, less sticky. So again, if you want it to be less sticky, just add more of the contact solution. It's starting to get real thick now. Now that we've added the contact solution, starting to get real thick. If you guys have any questions while I'm mixing this up, I can go over the ingredients again. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just do that anyway as I'm mixing this up. Uh, all you need for this safe version of the slime is Elmer's glue. Uh, so if you want to just make a little bit, you need about four ounces. These bottles here are seven ounce bottles, which are your run of the mill bottle. Uh, even saw a big gallon size Elmer's glue bottle while I was at Office Max. So if you want to get crazy with it, you could do that. Uh, then you need a contact solution. Put that in there. Baking soda. Just your run-of-the-mill baking soda. Nothing special. And food coloring so that you get the color that you want. Okay. And that's really all you need. Uh, you can see it's getting real, real. It's getting slimy. <laughs> All right, let's get a uh, let's get a plate. Because so now we need to knead. We need to knead our slime to make it a little thicker. So we're gonna. Oh yeah, yeah oh, yeah. Now we're we're getting somewhere. We gotta knead that up. For a reminder, how much baking soda did you throw in there? Uh, for a reminder, Sam is asking, baking soda, you need a half a tablespoon of baking soda. I actually put a lot more than that in here. Uh, you need one tablespoon of contact solution. Uh, if you want it to be less sticky, add more contact solution. And four fluid ounces to start with of Elmer's glue. And then as much food coloring as you want, you can mix them, you can match them to get whatever colors you want. And there is your slime that's not going to burn your hands off. So, hey, that actually came out pretty good. That's pretty good. So, we started this telling you about the story I'm doing at six. There's actually another uh, way to do this that is actually very dangerous for kids. Uh, 
kids are doing it, it's got chemicals in it, ends up burning their hands, they end up with blisters, the skin coming off. Uh, we'll, we'll show you those pictures in that story at six. And we'll also go over this recipe again so that you guys can make safe slime at home with the kids. I think that came out pretty good. Uh, also, we'll put the uh, ingredients uh, on the website. So if you want to come back to this, we'll put pictures, we'll put uh, the ingredients, we'll put everything you need to be able to do this at home tonight or tomorrow. I'm sure your kids, after they see me do it, are going to want to do it. Because <laughs> this actually, I'm that pleasantly surprised at how well this worked out. I don't know what you do with it at this point. Like, would you do it slime at this? You just kind of sit here and play with it, but... As I'm playing with it, it's getting more and more slimy and thicker and more rubbery. So there you go. We made some slime.